And for our third project, we have these super cute clothespin embellishments. They can help you spice up any banner for a party. So let's get started. So our first step is going to be cutting out the base die. Lay that on our platform. Put down your paper. Finish your sandwich and roll it on through. So this is going to be our base. Next, we'll go ahead and cut out our butterfly body, as well as one of the wings. So we'll go ahead and put our paper over that. We're gonna cut the wings out twice, obviously, so you have one for each side. So I'm just gonna pop this one out of here, and then Go ahead and cut our second wing. Okay, and our final cut is going to be the cover of the clothespin front. So we'll lay this on here, roll it through. all our pieces cut out and we will just start to put everything together. So we're going to take our butterfly body die and pop his little body out. For this project I'm going to cut off his antennas just because I want to see the contrast of the blue behind his body. And I did cut this out on a piece of paper that was already xironed so now I'm going to peel that off and place the body right on top of my base. Now I'm going to take these wings and drop them on this adhesive paper just to get a little bit of sticky tack. Place that on top of the design. And then again, you can pick up any excess with your finger. Go ahead and do the other side. So now you just take a little piece of twine and you tie it in a bow, like so. And we're going to use one of our trusty glue dots to adhere it right to the butterfly's front, like a little bow tie. So we'll take this piece to cover the front of the clothespin that was done on xyron paper. So we just peel that off and stick it right on top. That gives you a really nice base to work with. This actually, actually could be used on its own as well. And then to complete the base of the butterfly, you just fold like so, put a little glue glide on each wing, not that much glue glide. You fold it, match up your wings, and then you just follow the score lines. It's designed to fit right around a clothespin. Match up your wings on the other side and then it fits right through. So for our final project, we're gonna be making this flower clothespin embellishment. I'm gonna start by laying the base die down here. Put your paper on top and roll that on through. So that gives us our base to work with. Next, we'll be cutting out the layer piece of flower that goes right on top. our layering piece and then our last cut will be the clothespin cover it's this cute little chevron design and that's being cut out on a piece of paper that's already been xyroned okay and now we're ready to put it all together so the first thing that we're going to do is put some adhesive on the back of our layering flower And we are going to put that. I like to turn it so the flowers kind of go in between the first ones. And place that on there. And then we're going to be taking this pearl. It was a button. I just kind of cut off the button part of it on the back. 
we'll be using this adhesive dot to place it right in the middle of our flower. Next, we're going to be taking our clothespin cover that we cut out, getting it out of our die. And then we will peel off the Xyron from the back and place it right on top of our clothespin. Again, this could be used alone just to spice up any clothespin for a fun banner. Now we'll just take a little bit of adhesive to finish completing our flower base. So you just match up your flower edge, follow the easy score lines on the back, match up your flower edge, and that gives you your clothespin cover. Fits right on. There you go. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed learning about my Me and You collection. You can find all these products and more at scrapbook.com.